Good morning, everyone. It's another exciting uh, morning. Thank you all for joining me again uh, for the 53rd episode of Morning Cello. It's always nice to, to be here with all you folks, so uh, thank you for joining me. If this is your first time, my name is Joshua McLean. Uh, this is a show that I've been doing since March, and it's been growing and growing, and we've it's gone through lots of changes. Actually, not really that many changes. I usually play the same <laughs> same stuff and say the same things, but uh, people people seem to like it. So uh, the the goal of this show is mainly to provide people with a safe space to ground and to find a bit of comfort and relaxation um, during these strange times that we live in. And so that that's kind of where the show comes from. Um, and but uh, now it's actually kind of going into its uh, its next chapter. Uh, as many of you know, I'm uh, going to be recording uh, an album based on the music that was played and written during uh, this concert series. And so I'm I'm raising funds for that uh, right now, where you can pre-order uh, a copy of the album, uh, and then I'll take those funds and go record it, and then get you the get you the <laughs> get you the album later. And uh, that's kind of how it works. So I'll be talking about that a little bit later. I don't want to spend the whole uh, the whole time talking about it. But it is pretty important, and I'm really excited about it. So uh, the last time I was in the studio was in late. I think I started in like September, September of 2017. It was a really hot day in Oakland. It was my first day recording, and I, I went into the studio, uh, which is kind of like this cave, uh, in the morning. And then my wife, Rosario, came to drop off some tacos, and she was like sweating bullets. I'm like, what's going on? She's like, it's 105 degrees outside. So I remember that day very uh, specifically because it was very hot. Uh, but also I just remember that time in general. Um, I spent about 14 days in the studio kind of going out, going in, coming out, refining some melodies and harmonies and going back in. And just the, the process of recording is really fun. Uh, and so I'm excited about getting back into that. You know, you only do it every so often. And uh it's something that I enjoyed more than I thought I, I thought I would. I thought it was going to be kind of torture, like make, making sure everything is perfect. But um, yeah, yeah it's, it's really fun. So I'm looking forward to getting in and uh, and recording another album for all of you folks. I'm going to get started here in just about a minute. We'll get some music playing. Um, maybe some of you join me for a short little concert that I played last night. Uh, yesterday was my birthday. I turned 36, and I also launched this pre-order campaign for my new uh, album but if you saw <laughs> if you saw the show uh, last night after I after basically after I got finished playing my wife was like you look terrible um, just because we've been working so hard and uh, it took a lot of energy to get this this campaign off the ground so uh, I was just barely <laughs> barely awake last night I kind of don't even remember playing so that was fun uh, yeah okay I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just start I'm going to play, uh, the, so this is kind of how the format works, is I play sort of a gentle, quiet little piece at the, at, the, at the beginning. And I want you to focus on your breath and your breathing and just being present, being aware of your surroundings, being aware of your body and the different feelings you have inside of your body. Um, and just trying to feel present, not getting wrapped up about thoughts of the past, not getting wrapped up about thoughts of the future. Uh, to just be here with your, with yourself or with somebody who you're with, um, and the music. And so, music is a really great way to ground us because we're hearing it in the present moment, and it brings us to here and to now. And so, uh, it's a really cool concept. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and play for you. My name is Joshua McLean. This is the 53rd episode of Morning Cello, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. 
that was a good time to stop because there, there was a fly flying in my face. Uh, <coughs> the fly wasn't enjoying the music. And he's like, you should, you should stop playing. Really, he's like, just won't stop attacking me. Anyways, got bigger things to worry about than that stupid old fly. <laughs> uh, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's so nice to be here again uh, for just another morning of, of music and mindfulness and you know maybe maybe you'd like to take this time to meditate a little or just to contemplate um, it's nice to give yourself that room and that space and that time uh, throughout the week and so that's what this show is for um, and it's just it's just nice to have all of you here uh, with me it's really turned into a community I firmly believe that and uh, yeah it's just a kind of a wild thing that in January February early March wasn't thinking about any of this stuff uh, I was frantically trying to either get a job or um, build my media production company, which is me and a camera and some lights. Um, I do good stuff, but, uh, you know, trying to make it as a sole proprietor. <laughs> it's tough and tough in this big town of the Bay Area. Uh, and and then this happened, and, uh, and I was forced to focus back on my music, and it's been really great. Uh, before, I just never believed it was possible because I never, you know, like how do you get how do you get discovered or how do you get big or how do you get a manager or how do you play big shows and theaters and get known and all this stuff and uh, well the answer is like nobody gets discovered overnight and it only happens through hard work uh, but I just didn't see the I didn't see how everything was going to fit together and uh, and uh, and now a lot more people know about my music and and uh, my music feels more special to me now uh, that I can share it with so many people. And uh, it's been a really amazing period of growth, and uh, even though it's been sort of a scary time. And uh, <laughs> I keep saying and. Uh, I think that's like a, a, mid, a Midwestern thing. Um, I'm from Indiana originally. Uh, my wife is from Argentina, uh, a little more exotic. I, I come from a small town called Westville, Indiana. Uh, and we're not even in the town. The town itself has like uh, 1,500 people that live in it. And we lived out in the country on the outskirts on the outskirts of the town. Uh, so this is totally, totally sidetracked. I feel like telling some stories today. So I was born in Michigan, and I lived there until the age of one. My parents lived in a, in a little farmhouse that didn't have a lot of heating, and I guess the, the water and the toilets would freeze. Uh, and I lived, my crib was in a closet. Uh, but then they moved to the East Coast for my dad's work. He worked in sales for print and publishing. And... Uh, and so I grew up in Maryland, which has a pretty, like, d it doesn't have intense winters. Uh, it's a pretty moderate climate. And then when I was eight, we moved to Indiana. And <laughs> the first winter was, like, the coldest winter in forever. It was, it was minus 25 with minus 75 degree wind chills. And we lived so far in the country, like, any time the wind blew, the power would go out. So we had no power either, so no heat. I remember my dad would have to go in the back with a sled and, like, a, and an axe and chop through ice to get frozen logs out of the ground and bring them to the fireplace. And I just, I couldn't, I'm like, why do we, why did we move here? This place is terrible. Uh, but anyways, the long story short is uh, I'm from a simple place in Westville, Indiana, which I love my roots. Um, and then my wife is from, from Buenos Aires, Argentina, which is <laughs> so much more <laughs> exotic. Uh, but we make a good match. The simpleton, the simpleton uh, farm boy and, uh, and uh, exotic, beautiful an intelligent, amazing wife of mine. Um, she she balances me out. <coughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. And there's one more thing. I just want to give a big thanks to my wife. Yesterday, I was working on the campaign from like 6:30 a.m. till like 10 at night, and she watched our son Yo-Yo um, all day. And so that I really want to really thank her for doing that. It's not easy to be with a boy all day long without a break. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and and start playing. Uh, one thing is just. If you like this music and you'd like to support it, um, please pre-order one of my my, my new album that's coming out. Uh, the way that I'm able to produce it and maintain all the rights to my own music um, is to raise the funds myself and then go record it. Uh, if I sign with a record company or record label, uh, they then own parts of the rights to my music. And so this is the way that independent musicians and artists maintain the rights to all the work is by um, pre-selling their, their work, having the funds to go record it, and then distributing it. So um, I'll be uh, releasing this new album on digital, CD, and vinyl, which is pretty cool. So 
go ahead and uh, there's a, there should be some links there on the page and then also in the comment section. That's it. Um, lastly, I'm going to dedicate a song to uh, Maria Gunyazu's uh, mother who uh, lost a battle with cancer uh, two years ago as of yesterday. And so Maria is a, a, a student of my wife's and she reached out to say to see if I would dedicate a song uh, to her mother who she loves so much. And so um, I don't know. I don't know what song I'm going to play, but I'm going to let uh, her mother, Isabel, uh, channel that through me. All right. Thank you for being here. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. 
Thank you. Uh, Maria, Maria Gunazu, that was for uh, your mother, Isabel, who was a fiery Argentinian woman with a big heart and who loved to give. And so uh, if any, anybody else um, would like a dedication to somebody they've lost, um, I, can, I can do a song uh, per session dedicated to either one or more people. Um, and so uh, if that's something that you would like to do, I'm happy to play a song um, for somebody that you've lost in the past and uh, make that part of the show.
just going to take a short break to say hello. Thank you all for being here. Uh, for me, it's still morning. For some of you, I'm sure it's uh, afternoon. Maybe even some of you, it's evening if you're overseas. But either way, it's a good day. And so uh, thank, you for, thank you for joining me. Um, if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, my name is Joshua McLean, and this is a show called Morning Cello. And I want to thank you for being here. Uh, this is a pretty cool show, and uh, there's lots of folks who've been coming here for a long time, so you're in good hands. Uh, and thank you for being here. Um, if you if you wouldn't mind, I'd, I'd love it if people would share this live stream with your friends and family. Uh, you can tell people about it, or even right now, you could just share this with a few people um, as a direct message is the best way to, to share it and see if we can get some more people in here and grow this show, grow this show organically. Um, this is uh, this is a show that's mostly about uh, the people, you, uh, the community, being here together um, during difficult times. And so, yeah, you're in good hands. Um, hmm, what else? <laughs> so uh, you may have heard me talking about my taking my son in a backpack. And so my favorite thing... One of my favorite things in the world is just hiking and backpacking, be out, being out in nature with a little bit of weight on your back. Uh, and so I got this backpack, this really nice backpack to, to carry my son in. Um, and it's been great because when you're both working from home and watching a one-and-a-half-year-old at the same time, you pretty much don't even have a second to, <laughs> to have like a, you know, to talk to each other as couples. And so the only time, only time we've been able to talk to each other is when we do a walk at the end of the day and yo-yos on our, on my back. And so <laughs> like my wife and I can actually have a conversation. Um, but he's, he's getting old enough where he's like done with the backpack and we're like, oh no, <laughs> there goes, our <laughs> there goes our connection time. Uh, and lately he's been telling me he's done with the backpack. Y usually he says oopa, which means like get up, get me out of here. And so he'll be saying oopa for a while, and now he'll just smack me in the side of the head. <laughs> and he's, like, attached to me, so I like can't get him off, you know. And uh, he was doing that a little bit. I was like, yo, yo, no. So I, like, would grab his hands, and he'd scream at me. I'm like, well, if you're going to hit me in the head, i got to hold your hands. Uh, and then I'd let go, and then, like, he was waiting. And, like, two minutes later, he just took both hands and whacked me on the side of the head, both my ears. Uh, and that was the signal that I think it, I think we're done with backpack walks. And so we let him down and he, he walked around. He was very happy, but like <laughs> a pretty serious little uh, head in, head injury that I had. Um, but yeah, he was serious about being done with a backpack. And so that's kind of, that's the newest thing in my life. <laughs> uh, that and, uh, you know, you're, you'll be drawing with him and uh, he wants to fill in, like he'll tell you to draw a triangle or, a, or he loves pigs. He likes when you draw pigs. Uh, and so you'll be drawing the pig and you know, you'll, Sometimes I get into it. I've got this crayon. Uh, my son's drawing circles and zigzags and lines on another, another sheet of paper. And I'm like, wait a minute, this pig or this little mouse is coming out really well. And he'll come over and just shove your hand aside and just like draw all over it. You're like, I was, I was working on that. I was really going somewhere with that little pig that I was drawing. Um, and then he, <laughs> yeah, anyways, just some parenting stories. Uh, don't get too attached to your, cr I guess the, 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 the goal is, uh, what is it, Im like the, the lack of permanence of, of things. Pardon me, for my, my brain is, uh, uh, is a little fried. Um, don't get attached to anything, right? Anyways, I'm going to stop babbling, and I'm going to play some more music for you. Um, if you haven't already, uh, head over to uh, my campaign page. It's igg.me forward slash at forward slash morning cello, Josh. Uh, and that's how you'll pre-order uh, an album. And min much of this music and these sounds will, will be on it. So I'd love it if you could support me in that way. Um, that would be the, the best way uh, to support. And also to get the music. There's some really cool stuff in that on that campaign. So, all right. I'm going to play for you. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you soon. This fly will not leave me alone. It landed on my nose in the middle of a piece. I don't know if you noticed me <laughs> swatting at my face while I was playing. I wish I had a fly swatter. Actually, I wish I had my dog Luigi. He loves to r run around the house jumping, like like just haphazardly just launching himself through the air and like crashing into stuff, trying to, trying to catch these uh, flies midair. Sometimes he does. 
but I guess if he was here, he'd be knocking over everything chasing after this fly. Anyway. trouble uh, figuring out this chord progression, so I'm just going to bail. <laughs>
Well, that's all, folks. Uh, I could maybe play a few more, but this fly will just <laughs> not leave me alone. Um, God, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, thank you again for being here. Uh, and uh, thank you for you know, all of your support. If you've been here for many of these, uh, many of these episodes, thank you for your continued support. Um, if you've helped support uh, this program uh, throughout this pandemic, Thank you, um, and thank you to everybody for helping me uh, to become a better musician and to produce a lot of music uh, that I think will serve me well for the next couple of years. I mean, there's enough ideas throughout all these uh, morning cello. Oh <laughs> I just realized one of my uh, outputs was not plugged in, so you're only, you're only getting mono today, not stereo. Anyways, you may have only had music coming out of one speaker. Uh, whoops. Um <coughs> Yeah, I have enough ideas, uh, musical ideas, to, to produce music f for a while. And so, you know, I, th I think I could produce probably two albums. And so, but we'll start with one. Uh, and I'll produce the album called Morning Cello, which would be sort of my favorite selections uh, and sort of the crowd's favorite selections from these 53 episodes. If there's a specific piece, they're not exactly pieces, they're, they're loops. Um, some of them sound more like pieces, uh, you know, of finished work. And so when you hear a track from the new album, it, it might be multiple loops mixed together to give the song more dynamics. Uh, I, I struggle to sort of figure that out in my head, improvised with a looping pedal. And so once I go into the studio and start creating the songs um, so that they don't sound like loops, then I that's kind of when I compose the song. And so um, many of the songs from my last album uh, have multiple sections that blend in and out and it's really pretty cool and so that's what i'll do with this um this next album is to take some of those those selections and anyway, anyways if you have a favorite selection from one of the 53 uh morning cellos feel free to send me the the, the episode and the timestamp, and i'll take a look at it and see see if it's a winner to, to make it out of the album um Lastly, uh, again, if you'd like to support this music and hear this album, um, please uh, pre-order a copy on Indiegogo. That's the crowdfunding platform that I'm using and also the crowdfunding platform I used to work for um, back in the day. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, I'm producing, I'll be releasing this in a digital format. So I'll be uh, sending out high res uh, digital files. So when you listen to something on Spotify or iTunes is typically an MP3, which is a uh, quite a bit smaller, less high quality uh, version of the music. And so uh, for the digital downloads, I'll be sending very high res dot wave or AIFF files, um, which will be sort of lossless in terms of the, the quality. Uh, but I'll also be releasing it on CD, which is of amazing quality, um, and vinyl, which again, Neil Young says is the only way to listen to music. Uh, and so I never produced a vinyl and I'm very excited about that. Um, and maybe the, I'm not sure if the album will be long enough that it's, that it's a double vinyl. So we'll see. Uh, I'm not quite sure how much, I think it's like, well like 25 minutes per side. Anyways, not important. I'll figure it out later. Uh, uh, but if, if you'd like to support this show, otherwise you, you can do so, um, by subscribing to me on Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Joshua McLean. Uh, it's a subscription-based crowdfunding platform uh, where you can make a pledge to, to support this music monthly um, so that I can continue to bring these concerts to the world and develop as a musician and focus my energy on music. Um, and yeah, cool. Anyways, all those links are in the comment section. I'm done talking about that. And uh, I'm excited. I'm going to sign off and get started working on the campaign. And if you're wondering what that looks like, it's mostly just doing email uh, and messaging outreach uh, to folks that I know um, like this music and or maybe they supported my last campaign and to try to get them to to double down and, and support this campaign too. So I'll be working that on working on that all day. 
uh, and hopefully posting an update on the campaign uh, later today. I think we've got over 100 contributors now and nearly, uh, nearly $7,000 raised, which is, which is awesome. It's just a really powerful launch, and I'm very excited about it. Okay, thank you. Please join me on Thursday, same time, same place, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. I'll talk to you then. Thank you very much. My name is Joshua McLean. This is the 53rd episode of Morning Cello, and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye.